The city of Munich is famous for its cultural monuments and Bavarian charm and friendliness. The must-see sites include the Glockenspiel at Marienplatz and the world-famous Hofbräuhaus. But there's much more here than tradition. Munich is cutting edge. It has the highest purchasing power of any city in Germany, and that's reflected in the many boutiques that line its main shopping areas. The city's design sector is booming. Jeweler Saskia Dietz says Munich is ideal for both creativity and enjoying the good life. Munich is big and small at the same time. It feels like a village as well as a sizable city with all its opportunities. But at the same time, it has the character, warmth and mentality of a village. Wide boulevards, mighty arches and imposing gates define the cityscape. Among the most enchanting spots in the city are the Baroque Theatina Kirche at Odeonsplatz and Karlsplatz, which the locals call the Stachus. In this square, there's always something to see or listen to. The Stakos is always full. When it's crowded, a local adage says, it's like the Stakos. That captures the scene very well. There's a very Southern European feel to it. Modern architecture also plays a key role, as does contemporary art. The Pinacothek de Moderna is considered among the best museums of its kind in the world. And the Brandhorst collection combines striking architecture and modern artworks. There's quite a lot to discover here, including contemporary culture. Besides the two Pinakothek art museums and the Haus der Kunst, there's a lot of modern architecture, even in the heart of the city. Elsewhere, Munich takes on a small town feel. Take the city's many breweries and beer gardens. And the Victualien Markt, the famous farmer's market. The love of tradition and progress is reflected in clothing here, too. Lola Paltinger is among the city's leading dress designers. Her speciality is the dirndl. It's a symbol for Munich, and all of Bavaria, even. On the one hand, you can be very traditional, but still look very modern, like a young, fashionable Bavarian woman. It embodies tradition and the modern spirit. To unwind, Munich residents flock to the English Garden. At over four square kilometers, this green oasis is bigger than New York's Central Park. In the south end of the park, you'll find the Eisbach, a treat for active types looking for a definitely non-urban experience. I've been surfing here for 15 years. Back then I lived in Cologne, which is where I'm originally from. A friend of mine moved here and called me right away because he knew I loved to surf. And he said, you can surf in a river here, you've got to come down. So I checked it out and it knocked me out. When I tried it, I wanted more, and two weeks later I moved. I came to Munich because of the ice box and I've been living here ever since. Another of Munich's hallmarks are the countless beer gardens. Be ready to tuck into serious comfort food here. But you can also just bring your lunch. Saskia Dietz and Lola Paltinger often wrap up their workday with a visit to the beer garden. Often there's a live band playing Bavarian music, of course. You sit under the chestnut trees, which is beautiful, because many of them are very big and old. The beer gardens, at least the older ones, are mostly affiliated with the breweries. They're absolutely a part of Munich culture. Trend conscious with a hearty helping of Gemütlichkeit. 
Maybe that's the mix that makes people love music.